This lesson on vectors is looking at uh, solving geometric problems involving vectors where we are dividing a vector into a given ratio and also proving uh, when vectors are parallel. In this example, we're going to show how we can prove vectors are parallel. Now, before we uh, continue with this question, the first part, if I've got a vector, A plus B, uh, a parallel vector will be a multiple of this. So, for example, 3A plus 3B, uh, and I can factorize this to show that that's 3A plus B. So, therefore, this is a parallel vector. These two are parallel. Now, for this uh, example, we've got uh, two uh, identical parallelograms, and we're told that P, the vectors P and Q, from A to B is P, uh, A to F is Q, and because the parallelogram, it's they are uh, parallelograms are both identical. This side will also be vector P, as would this, because those are both the same. And again, that would also be P as well. That's vector Q, and again, because they're parallel and the same length, that length, uh, that vector is also Q, and C to D is also vector Q. Now, to show that. Uh, First part of the question, we're asked to show that BM is parallel to AD. So for this part, I'm going to look at AD first. So AD is equal to uh, Q plus 2P, if I go that way, or I can uh, even go this way. So P, P plus P plus Q. So that will be 2P plus Q. So AD, A to D is equal to 2p plus q. Now, next part to look at bm. bm is equal to, well, from b to m, I'm going to go from b to c first, that's a vector p, and then I'm going to go from c to m. Well, c to m, uh, we're told, is the midpoint, so therefore it'll be half of cd. Well, cd is equal to vector q. So CM is equal to a half of Q. Now, to show that these two vectors are parallel, uh, I'm going to factorize BM. Now, remember, P on its own means 1P. So the common factor between those two is a half. So half on the outside. Well, how many halves are there in one? Well, there's two, two halves. So when I multiply this out, a half times 2 will give me the 1. So that's 2p plus q. So that shows that they've both got the vector 2p uh, plus q. And this is half the, the length of 2p plus q. So therefore, uh, AD is parallel to BM because they both contain the vector 2p plus q. And similarly, for, part, well, for the second part, again, I'm going to start off with the vector fc. fc, so f to c is equal to uh, 2p, and this time is minus q, going in the opposite direction. So that's 2p plus p minus q, so that's 2p, minus q and uh, is parallel to em so e to m is there so e m uh, is equal to vector p and minus a half of q and again i can factorize this so then this em uh, gives EM is equal to a half of 2P minus Q in brackets. So again, uh, therefore, those two, FC and EM, are parallel because they go both go in the direction of 2P minus Q. In this example, we are looking at dividing a vector in a given ratio, so then we can uh, use, use it in the question. Uh, in this in this uh, example, we got a triangle ABC, and we're told that uh, we got vector n, CB is equal to n, and BA is equal to m, and 
that P is a point such that it's been divided up into the ratio of 3 to 1. So for this question, we're looking at going from B to P. So I'm going to follow, I'm going to go this way to there. So first part, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work out the vector CA. So C to A is equal to N plus M. N plus M. Now, for the next part, we're told that CP and PA is divided up into the ratio of 3 to 1. So C to A has been divided up into that ratio. So for ratios, I need to know the total parts, which is equal to 4. So now I'm going to write this as a fraction. So CP is going to be 3 quarters of CA and PA is a quarter of CA. So now for this CP, CP now becomes 3 quarters of uh, CA. So from there to there, that's 3 quarters and that's 1 quarter. So we worked out uh, CA already. Well, I can re uh, rewrite this as M plus N. So now we've got CP is equal to three quarters of M plus N. Now, if I go back to the question, BP is equal to, I start from here, first part going in this direction, so that will be minus n plus 3 quarters of uh, CA, which is CP. Well, CP is 3 quarters of M plus n. So that's 3 quarters of M plus n. Now, what I need to do is now just simplify uh, the algebraic term. So... Uh, I'm going to expand the brackets first. So 3 quarters of M plus 3 quarters of N with the minus N still there. So collecting like terms, well, of uh, 3 quarters of M is on its own. Leave that there. And then for the next part, uh, 3 quarters of N minus 1n. So 3 quarters take away 1 is minus a quarter n. And for the last step, I'm now going to uh, factorize this. Well, the common factor for both of these is got the quarter. So if I put the quarter on the outside, I'll end up with 3m minus n, minus 1n. If we expand this back out, I'll come back to this. So the final answer for this question, BP is equal to a quarter of 3M minus, 3, minus N. For the main task of this lesson, I would like you to do one question from the red, making sure you uh, answer all the parts that uh, the question asks. And the second part is to answer one of these two questions. So that's the first question. Or the second question. So that's one question from the red, one question from the green, making sure you uh, complete all the parts of the question. Once you've completed your work, make sure you upload your photo of your work onto class charts for you to have completed the work for this lesson.